Hello and welcome to this tutorial video for F Expansion's DCAM Chan Comp and DCAM Bus Comp, our premium compressor rack extension plugins for a propeller head's reason. Both plugins are modelled on famous industry standard hardware compressors. Chan Comp is based on a classic limiting amplifier design, commonly used as a channel compressor. It features a very fast attack response and is usually intended to be applied to individual tracks in the mix. Bus Comp is based on a classic bus compressor design from the centre section of a well-known British large format mixing console. It's usually intended to be inserted on subgroups like drum mixes or the entire master output to add glue and power to a mix of tracks. However, it also works very well as a channel compressor in its own right, offering a different flavour of compression to that offered by the Chan Comp. Both compressors are very easy to use. Chan Comp consists of an input gain, which drives the compression circuit harder, envelope attack and release controls, fixed ratio buttons 4, 8, 12 and 20 to 1, and the infamous nuke button, which is an emulation of the all buttons ratio mode on the classic limiting amplifier design. There's a bias control, which continuously varies between different capacitor values which were used on various hardware revisions of the hardware on which Chan Comp is based, and finally, a mix control and an output gain. The back of the unit features the usual audio inputs and outputs, as well as a CV output, which is tapped from the gain reduction part of the compressor circuitry. The bus comp features a similar series of controls, but the main difference is a sidechain input the sidechain can be driven from an external input using the inputs on the rear of the unit. There's a high pass filter for filtering out any unwanted low frequencies from the sidechain signal and a listen button so you can hear the sidechain signal in isolation. The dynamic section includes the attack and release controls, there are compressor threshold makeup and ratio controls and the master section contains the input and output gain as well as a mix control a gain reduction meter and a saturation on off button. So let's take a look at these in action. I'm mixing a song here in Reason and I'm using bus comp and chan comp on various channels. Let's take a quick listen. Probably the most obvious use of bus comp is on the master channel. Let's bypass it. We can hear the difference immediately, and the most obvious difference is gain. But what bus comp is doing here most of all is adding some glue to the overall mix. We've got it on a gentle 2 to 1 ratio with an attack of 10 milliseconds and a release of 1.2. We could alternatively use the auto release, which adjusts the release time dynamically. We're also using it on the drum bus. We'll bypass that. A bit more gain reduction going on here, as we can see in the gain reduction meter. And we're using a one millisecond attack and the auto release. Again, bypassed and enabled. For the bass, I'm using Chan Comp to add a little bit of character. If we solo the bass channel, bypass, And I'm driving the compressor quite hard here, and I'm using an 8 to 1 ratio, so let's just turn that on again. 
although there's not a huge amount of gain reduction going on, it is adding some harmonics. And we could actually uh, push that even further if we wanted to. You can really hear the extra harmonics and distortion. But because this is quite a gentle song, I'm just keeping it um, fairly dialed back. I'm also using Chan Comp on the kick drum. I'll uh, solo the kick drum and the drum bus. And I'll just bypass this. And again, it's a very subtle uh, difference. But it's bringing out some of the click by using a very short attack and a long release. We're, um, we're really accentuating the click of the kick drum. So it just helps the kick drum come through in the mix slightly better. And that is Decan Chan Comp and Bus Comp Rack Extension Plugins for Propellerheads Reason.